You know, once upon a time, the NIT used to be the premier postseason tournament in college basketball. The times have changed, but don't bother telling that to the Lipscomb Bisons, who battled Texas in the championship game tonight at MSG. Close game in the first half. Nathan Moran hits the three to put the Bisons up by one. Later in the first, still up by one. Rob Marbury gets position down low, puts home the lefty floater to make it a three-point game. But Texas would go on a 22-5 run. Kerwin Roach lobs it up. For the jam, horns within one, then just for the half, Jace Fabriz with the long three. Texas up 14 at the half. Second half, Bison try to claw back. Marbury cuts the lead to eight with the J. Meanwhile, Garrison Matthews had a nightmare shooting game, just two of 10 from the field, but that was his only three pointer of the night. But Lipscomb could get no closer. Roach caps it here with the 360 jam. And the Bison season ends with an 81 66 loss. Marbury led the way with 17, but it's the Longhorns who take home the hardware. Steve Lehman has more from NYC. This time, there was no buzzer beater or magical comeback. Texas's havoc defense harassing Lipscomb all night, holding the Bisons to just 39% shooting in an 81-66 win, ending Lipscomb's storybook postseason run one win shy of an NIT title. And really, the game was decided on our offensive end. They did an excellent job guarding us. Still proud of our team, obviously. Um, a lot to be said for the season we had. It, it hadn't hit me yet. Um, I, to be honest with you, I'm feeling just happy that I've spent so much time with these guys and these coaches and everybody that's came to support us. It's, just, it's an amazing feeling being able to play for them and the school. We're all pretty positive. I mean, we just, Coach said, we just beat four great teams on the road um, in the NIT tournament. Um, and, you know, got to the championship game. No one really expected us to do that. After the game, Lipscomb coach Casey Alexander urged his players to keep their heads held high. We expected to win, so we're disappointed we didn't, he said. But absolutely the only thing to feel sad about is that it's over. In New York, Steve Lehman, News Channel 5 Sports.